Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy a Terraform template across multiple regions. So in this video, we are going to do some Terraform providers magic, right? And we'll deploy a single Terraform template across multiple regions. So if you saw my last, last video, uh, in that I created a module and we deployed that module across various environments like prod and staging, right? But in this video, we are going to deploy a single template a simple very simple terraform template across multiple regions let's see how we do that so if you remember uh, we had created a module called vpc module right and inside that we created main.tf so let me just cat out that file so you can see it was doing nothing it was simply creating a vpc uh, an internet gateway a subnet private and public right so we'll reuse this uh, module and we'll start writing our provider definition and see how we can make use of aliases in providers and then refer that in our main template to basically launch our infrastructure across multiple regions. All right, <clears throat> so first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to define the provider required by this module. So if you see, there is no provider definition in my module, right? So let's do that. So I'll just do a providers.tf file, right? And inside this, I'm going to tell Terraform what provider are we going to require, right? So Terraform, we'll open a Terraform block. Let's close it so in case we don't forget. And then we'll mention required underscore providers right and we'll open the block again and this will be AWS right so AWS provider we are going to use and we're going to specify the source and source for us would be HashiCorp so HashiCorp slash AWS right close this and we'll close this so now we have actually defined the required sources or required uh, what do you call it? providers required providers for this particular module right so let's save this file so now if we do nls we'll have three files over here so one is our main.tf other one is variables and then there's a providers.tf file all right now i'll go to the root of my directory right where we have this modules and now i'm going to basically create a providers file for the main template which i'm going to define so let me first touch main.tf file and then touch providers.tf file right so don't get confused why we are creating two providers file right so this provider file will actually contain the providers definition and the providers file which we created inside the module actually was to inform that what providers are required for that particular module. So whenever you initialize, uh, Terraform would know that you require AWS module for that particular model, uh, AWS so, uh, source or AWS provider for that particular module, right? Little confusing, but I hope you get it. By the end of this video, you, you are sure, right? All right, so now let's do and start writing up providers. So how do we define providers for multiple region? So we are going to use aliases if you don't know ah. so let's insert and we'll do provider and this will be aws right this is how we normally define the provider right but here i'm going to create an alias which will be equal to so i'll be creating a my infrastructure in say two region one would be us right and we 
normally define the region so this will be us east one right and then i'll have another provider that will be aws again right but this would be alias for say europe and the region for this provider would be eu west one right us one and close it now we'll save this file and we are done so we have created our providers definition we have informed terraform what providers are required for the particular module now we'll write our main.tf file so for main.tf we'll start with module let's say us right and source would be equal to like the current modules and bpc underscore module so this is the source and inside our module definition we are going to open a providers block and this will be aws equal to aws dot us so this is the alias which we uh, set right if you remember we close this and the last thing we want is vpc underscore cider which we have defined in our variables file so 10.1.0.0 slash 16 this would be the cider for our uh, vpc right and that's pretty much it all right and i'll just copy everything from here right paste it here and just change a couple of things so instead of us this would be eu or europe just define what we have defined in our aliases it's not necessary i'm just doing it for understanding sake and this would be europe because that was my alias right and we can leave the vpc cider same because we can create vpcs with same cider across a different region so i'll leave it as is we'll save this so now let's recap before we do terraform plan and apply right right so in this providers.tf file we have actually defined our providers with aliases right and we have referenced those aliases inside a module when we were calling a module right and and inside modules ppc modules providers.tf we have just informed terraform that we are going to require this particular module all right so if we have not done any mistakes any logical or syntactical mistakes if i do terraform init so initializing in initialization worked now let's do terraform plan normally if it takes this much of time it's going to work so let's just review our plan so you can see this is calling module.us dot aws vpc and my vpc and if you are confused what are these you can just look at and just cat out modules vpc module main.tf file so this is all is coming from here and the variables.tf as well so this is this was the variable which we defined right vpc cider and we used it in our module definition all right so let's review our plan and you can see it's creating a public subnet it's creating a private subnet and this is all happening in the us region right and if you go up you would see the same thing is happening for europe region as well right so let me clear the screen and let's do terraform 
apply proof and let's see it has started creating vpcs so vpc creation and everything happens pretty quickly unlike ec2 instances that can take some time but vpcs i think it should be less than a minute that it should be able to create all the VPC resources like internet gateway and stuff like that, right? Because if you don't know, internet gateways does not create internet gateways already exists. It's just assigns you one. The AWS actually assigns you one, right? So you can see in less than a minute, we have all the resources completed. You can see the VPC IDs and subnet IDs all are here. But just to verify, let's do AWS EC2 describe VPCs and by default my region in AWS CLI is set to US East so I'll just query and what will I query I will query VPCs dot and what we need we need um, PPC ID from a side block, right? Let's see. So you can see this is this one is the default PPC and this one is the one which we created. And if we just go up CE4 and you should see CE4. So it matches with the ID, right? Let's make another call. And in this time, we'll just pass the region and we'll say EU West 1. Let's see. So for EU West 1, VPC ID is 5A42. And if we go above, you can see 5A42. So these are the VPCs which are created and we created them simultaneously across multiple regions. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you liked the video. I hope you got the concept of providers, how actually Terraform is using providers, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you like the videos guys and please do subscribe to the channel before leaving. This is the last video of the year. I wish you guys a very happy new year and have a great year ahead, right? Thank you for watching.